This ad supports Bitch Flower Mowler. Mega Mind? Dude, that's a good movie. I should have save stated? Uh oh. When I get the world record, I have to write in the comments that my Twitch chat told me to cheat. It wasn't my fault, rules. It wasn't my fault. Got it. Uh, the absolute hardest Mario there is. Do ROM hacks count? I would say ROM hacks don't count. Like the like the hardest official Mario Brothers game out there, all genres. Let's see, let's see. That's tough. That's very tough. The hardest. Now I don't think I've played all of them, but I've played all the ones that would actually be difficult. The ones that I haven't played, I don't think. You know what I mean? Like I missed out on Luigi and Mario Superstar Saga or Bowser Buddy Bash or I don't know what the fuck it's called. Sticker Star RPG, you know, those are designed for you to actually like win, so you can't you can't really lose those, so they're not that hard. You can get stuck and struggle, but most Nintendo RPG games are designed so that you can go kinda like any route and still still win. <laughs> Mario Luigi's Bowser Buddy Bash. I've never played Mario Hotel, but it looks difficult, but not... It doesn't look... It doesn't look harder than their platforming. Super Mario Bros. 2 Lost Levels, a lot of people say, is one of the hardest Mario levels... Or Mario games out there. But... Yeah, Lost Levels... I don't... It's hard, right? Because... So, like, th this is an interesting way to look at it. So, you could sit down and play Lost Levels for the first time, and it'll take you about five hours. You could probably beat it, right? But you sit down and play Super Mario Odyssey, that game will take you 20-something hours to beat it. Now, is that a form of difficulty, or is it because it's a much longer game, right? But if it was easier, you'd be able to do it quicker. But then it's got cutscenes. So, like, in terms of what's difficult versus length, like, I still think Lost Levels is still one of the hardest Mario games out there. It has to be, right? The, the controls are absolute shit. Mario 1. Mario 1 controls are just... They're just so bad, man. I love them because of how bad they are. They're just so bad. Zelda 2, I think, is one of the hardest Zelda games. But then again, Ocarina of Time Master Quest, which is an official Zelda game, is pretty, pretty difficult. I love it, though. Hold on, I'll read your question. Something about cutscenes and idle. Why do I even say anything to Gino, man? He's already on top of it, man. He knows. He knows. Alright, wish me luck. No! 
At least I went for it, though. That's half the battle, man. You have to be willing to sacrifice runs for these hard strats. That's the only way to break through and make them not so hard anymore. That was good. That was a good attempt. That was a very good attempt. Come on, Hammer Brothers. Enough of the movements of four. See, I'm uncontrollably losing a bunch of time in this world from that Hammer Brother, right? He doesn't have to move over to the Mushroom House and go back every time. But he is costing me seconds. I lose seconds from that. It has nothing to do with me. It's not my fault. Does that make sense to some of you? Anyone who doesn't know this run very well, you have to pay attention to the Hammer Brothers in the overworld. Every time they move, they it costs me 0.5. Look, they're gonna move. One space, that's it. That, that was 0.5. That's it, they moved one space. All right? You're gonna watch them again right here. They're gonna move again. Now, where are they gonna move? One space, I can see because they can't go anywhere else. One space, one, done. That's 0.5, okay? Now, Hammer Brothers, they can't sit on top of levels. They can't sit on mushroom houses or pipes. They have to be on an empty space, okay? One movement, 0.5, okay? So, what that means is that if a Hammer Brother moves onto a level, it has to move off. That's one second. Each space is 0.5. So, if a Hammer Brother's doing a movement of four, which means he's moved on four spaces, where something like that is he moves across a level to a mushroom house, back from a mushroom house, over past the level again, and then across, that means he did a movement of four. That's 1.5 seconds that I can't control. But they always have to move, so you have to eliminate the 0.5, right? There's always going to be a 0.5. So it's a second. So they do that five times in one world. I've lost five seconds. I've lost five seconds. There's not a single level in this world where I can save five seconds. Oh, of course, I would have got it. It's a blowout, all right. Blow out your ass. The Top Gun, the Power Glove, yeah. You could just walk over it? Yeah, the Ninja Turtles one, that's so funny, man. fallen there before. I love when he's like, they're, they're turtles. They can't even swim. Because you like die in the water. Makes no sense. Uh, you're missing out on like a massive amount of nostalgia and some pretty funny stuff What what makes angry video, even if you don't like James even if you don't like the games or have never played them You still learn about them. I Had never played a single Ghostbuster games nor seen one on the NES or Super Nintendo until I watched AVGN and it was awesome Was going insanely bad. You spent 24k on an S card. Probably someone who wants the world championships. When he drilled Dick Tracy. That was funny. 24k for gold NES card of what? 
Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, you can spend 24k and get a new car, but Nintendo World Championship is worth more than probably the car you're paying 24 grand for. It's Nintendo World Championship, are you kidding me? If you got one of those, you're sitting on at least 50k. Because someone will be desperate enough to want to buy that for a lot of money. You will be able to sell that for a lot of money. You won't, however, be able to sell your car for a lot of money. There's a big difference. It's a very big investment. You buy it, and you sit on it for a couple years. People can start to get desperate. One breaks. Somebody loses one. Next thing you know, yours is the value of yours goes up even more. Whew. Man. The gold one were the prizes, the, the 15 prizes. It was like 20, maybe 30, I think. How many? How many was it, guys? The prizes in the Nintendo Power Magazine. Those are the rare ones. But the gray ones are also really rare, too. I can't, I can't remember. I don't know what I was doing. Nice, this is exciting. Do you guys know what this means? New run, baby. 